I'm Erica and I want to talk to you today about why you need a fabric cutter in your life. Um, I'm a quilter, I've been a quilter for years and I know for me like many of you your least favorite part is cutting. It can be the longest time. Um, for some quilters it can take days, weeks, months. We may even get tired of working on cutting and put it away and come back to it years later. So that time factor is huge. Um, our standard tools, it can be hard sometimes to get an accurate cut. Your ruler can slip. Um, sometimes it's not as accurate. You're reading small marks on there. Um, for some of us, there are challenges maybe with our joints as far as using scissors, rotary cutters, some of the traditional ways of cutting. Um, it, we know that getting that perfect accurate cut is what's going to get us a perfect product at the end. So we can also have safety. Um, I think most of us have a story about this little guy and, and needing band-aids close by. So um, there are definite factors with cutting and we have a better way to cut. This is what we call the Go Fabric Cutter and I want to show it to you today. It's a great way to cut because it's going to save you time. It's going to be much faster, 90% faster. It's going to give you great accurate cuts every time which is going to give you those perfect points and the great finished product that we're all looking for. It's going to be safe and it's so easy to use. You're not going to be doing your math to figure out your half square triangles anymore and you're going to love using it. So when you get a fabric cutter, it's going to come. This is the fabric cutter. And the other pieces of the puzzle are going to be a die, what we call a die. And this is what the shapes are in. The blades are sunk into a base here on the side. You can see it. They're surrounded by a two-tone foam. And then the blades are in there and those, that two-tone foam is going to show you exactly where those blades are and that's important for your fabric placement. So that is going to effectively be how you cut. You're going to put your fabric on top of here and then the last key is going to be your mat. The mat will go on top of your fabric. When you put it through your die cutter, that's how that cut is going to happen. So let's take a look. Let's see it in action. One of the things that I really like is doing half square triangles and I'm going to show you why. The first thing is I'm going to take my fabric, I'm going to take it so my selvage edge or my lengthwise grain is going to be heading in to the rollers this way and I'm going to layer that on. Now we can do up to six layers of fabric on here so I'm going to do what we call a fan fold. I've got two layers, I'm going to fold it over it's going to be over the blades and I'm going to fold it back and that's going to be my six layers right there. Now today I'm working with half square triangles. If I wanted to work with squares also, I could take the same fabric or contrasting fabric and put it over there. I could do the same down here and we could cut it all at the same time, which is a fabulous time saver. But for right now we're going to talk about those half square triangles. So I'm going to cut, put my mat over the top and what we see is that this is actually going to push those blades through your fabric and into that mat and that's how you're going to get that cut. So let's take a look. We're going to pull that mat off and pull off our other fabric. And here are gorgeous half square triangles. So these are perfect. We've done them in minutes. Actually we've done them in seconds. We've got our right sides together and you literally can take them off of your die and straight to your sewing machine. Now let me show you some of the features of this. We've put dog-eared corners on these. You can see we've cut off those edges. That does a couple of great things for us. The first is show us exactly where our quarter inch seam allowance is. Because for those of us who are quilters, we know you need an accurate cut, but you need a great accurate seam allowance as well. This is going to help you with that. So you can take this, I put my right sides together, that means I can take it to my sewing machine, sew that together, and when I press it open, I'm going to have a perfect square. I'm not going to trim, I'm not going to have those little dog ears to trim, they're already gone, and I'm going to have my perfect square. So I could chain piece all of these together, press them open, and they'd be great to go. Super time saver, and those dog ear corners are also going to help me line up so that I don't need to pin those. Another great time saver. Now if you want to work with something a little bit different, another great thing with the dies are going to be our curved shapes. This is our small clamshell shape and you can see we've already put the notches on 
Anybody who sewed, if you sew garments or quilting or curves, you know those notches. If you're cutting them by hand, take forever. So this is going to be quick and easy. It's going to be a very simple matter to put pins there, put it through. You're going to be sewing curves like an expert really easily. You can see that um, there are a lot of reasons why you need a fabric cutter. Uh, there's a lot of things that it can do for you. So it's going to save you time. It's going to give you great accurate cuts. It's going to help you get a great finished product. It's safe. It's easy to use. And we know that you will enjoy joining many, many other quilters around the world using the Go Fabric Cutter for your projects. You can find more information on this at our website at AccuQuilt.com. We also have a blog. We're on Facebook. We're on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. At AccuQuilt, we want you to know that we can help you cut time so you can quilt more.